Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you just the one selection for tomorrow's horse race in action. Before I get into that, just want to say uh, apologies for not doing a video uh, for today's racing. I was just really busy last night, didn't get back till quite late, had a couple of commitments in the evening to do and yeah, just unfortunately uh, wasn't able to record. But uh, yeah, I've got one selection, like I say, for you for tomorrow's racing. I thought it was quite a tricky day to be honest with you. You've got the likes of Ascot, Catterick and Chepstow, but I just didn't think there was much value to be had out there. So I've gone to uh, the evening action at Kempton on the weather, and I found one here that I think could definitely run well at a big price. It's going to be my nap, and that's in the 745. That is a horse called uh, Riverman Rock for uh, David Egan and John Butler, currently available at 25 to 1 with bet365 i'm going to recommend a one point each way selection here now the horse at the top of the market is the godolphin horse who's currently eight to 13 on he could be maybe a group horse uh, later on down the line and that's why he is a, such a short price but i just thought this race left us with an each way angle in and possible the possibility of an upset if the favorite can't live up to the hype. And I, I came down on this horse here because I just think coming back to the all weather could be a positive move. He's run some good races uh, at certain points uh, in the season. He actually uh, finished a good third. Uh, Yarmouth a couple of starts ago when arguably should have won. Uh, threw in the stinker when I remember putting him up here at uh, Ascot. But then he bounced back to form at a big price last time out when he finished then fifth at Haydock. I don't think that was a bad run at all. Really deep ground. But I think, like I say, coming back to the all-weather could be a positive move. He actually uh, won um, on his last start on the all-weather over this course and distance. Where he, so we know he handles the surface. Absolutely no problem. I think a mark of 88 is definitely within his uh, circumference and he can go well. Uh, here, not a bad draw as well. Tomorrow, still five. David Egan returning is a massive positive for uh, John Butler. Actually, won on this horse last time it ran over the course and distance. Only a couple of starts on the however. I just think there could be a bit more to come returning to the artificial surface. And he's a big price if the favourite doesn't live up to all the hype. So, yeah, it's going to be my selection tomorrow. 25 to 1. John Butler's been having his best ever season. He's a bit of obviously known as a shrewd operate uh you know but um yeah i think this horse could definitely outrun its odds at a big price and could be there or thereabouts come the end and make the frame so that's why it's gonna be my nap of the day so yeah that's the only tip then for tomorrow's race and let me know in the comments box below what uh, you'll be back in tomorrow if you're enjoying these videos remember to hit the thumbs up subscribe here to the youtube channel at lucky loader 15 you can follow me on the socials as well where i'm available on twitter at lucky loader 15 same goes for Insta as well. So, yeah, please remember to gamble responsibly. Hopefully, we can have a good day tomorrow. I'll be seeing you again soon.